this is one half of the Lemma Diaries. As you can tell, my camera quality is nowhere near as uh, crystalline as my dearest Emma. However, I am making you here at home. As you can see, it is just me here at the moment. Because unlike what most people seem to think, Emma and I do not live together. We would probably not survive the week if we did. There'd probably be a fire somewhere. So here is my first tips, how to watch TV from a different time zone. Anybody interested in Game of Thrones will know that last night, last night being the 6th of April, was the season premiere of season 4. Yay! So, being the sad, sad little girl I am, I decided to wait because here in England, you could either stream it live from your laptop, or you could watch it at 2am on Sky Atlantic, which is what I did. So, so people can avoid making any mistakes I made, or maybe follow through the things I did right. Here are my six tips. Tip number one, be prepared. This one may seem a little obvious, but the last thing you really want to do is get ready for your 2am program to find the streaming link doesn't work or you got the time wrong. So be prepared for all eventualities. Also, if you are watching on a TV like I did, last thing you want to do is turn the TV on and suddenly you're deaf in half the street. Tip two, set an alarm. If you plan to sleep, this is vital. If you are gonna get maybe two or three hours sleep before your program, set an alarm. If you're planning on staying awake, set an alarm. Just set it anyway because you can't be too careful. And again, be careful with the volume. I accidentally woke up my mother because my alarm volume was on too high. So be careful with that. Tip number three, snacks. Always prepare a light snack because it keeps yourself alert. Always have some water. I keep water because I think it keeps me awake and it's not as bad as coffee. I can always get back to sleep if I've had water. I also always have Nice savoury snacks. I don't tend to go for the high sugar ones, so I tend to have pretzels. I don't feel like I have to eat a whole meal, but I could just have one pretzel. I'm never going to just have one pretzel. But I might, because, you know, you might miss four deaths in Game of Thrones if you suddenly start questioning if you're hungry or not. Get a snack. You deserve a sandwich. Tip number four. Friends or pets. This is a weird one, I admit. But you know there is going to come a moment where you are going to want to seriously fan out about something. Someone's just died. Somebody's just said something fucking awesome. And you want to tell somebody. And they sort of turn around and there's no one. Hi everyone. Uh, as you can tell, I was uh, momentarily indisposed uh, being called down to dinner. But I am back now. And we were talking about friends or pets. So as I was saying, there may be a really cool moment. I mean, like, let's think back in season three of Game of Thrones, Dracarys line. It, it's that cool. You're going to want somebody to talk to. So my advice is if you have um, friends maybe on Tumblr or Facebook or maybe just texting, keep your laptop or your phone nearby. Or if you're like me and you don't really know many other people who stay up that late to watch stuff, uh, keep your uninterested Labrador next to you and uh, she can just sit and keep you company. Again, don't message your friends or call them if you know they're going to be trying to sleep and not watching it at the same time. Just don't be a dick about it. Tip five, get comfy. Get comfy but not sleepy. So get a blanket but maybe not your whole duvet set. And my final tip six, stay off your computer and go straight to bed after. I am a stickler for not following this tip or not following it very well. I finish watching something and I feel the immediate need to get on Tumblr and to reblog every post and gif I can find before I sort of pass out with my laptop still on, on my lap in bed. Don't do that because if you've got work or school, in the morning, you are going to eventually regret staying up until half past four, like I did. I mean, my mum is a stickler for imagining that uh, laptop screens and television screens have this flickering light that keeps your brainwave active. That's why you can't sleep if you spent too long on your computer before going to bed. 
It might be true. Yeah. I'm not that great at this rule. But you can give it a shot. But that is all for my tips. So join me next time because no doubt I'm going to have something to rant about or maybe some other sort of sad tips for nocturnal obsessive fans. If you enjoyed this video and uh, you want to see more of them, please subscribe or like or just leave us a comment below. So, yeah. And no doubt there will be more videos of our me and Emma's trip to Paris and our trips to Brighton and many other fun things. So uh, this is my first venture into blogging on my own and uh, I hope to see you again soon. Preferably with better camera quality and mic quality. So uh, ciao bella for now. <laughs>